I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Bobby ripped. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Thanks. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything right. in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. That was quick. The you town don't. is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Cheers, Doctor. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Good job, Buffkin. Cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound it's crazy, potential. but... Do you really think Crane did it? Um... Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. It just could be coincidence. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Who is that hanging? Thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? He might not have done it, though. Everything okay over there? He might have had That's sex with her. Just cut myself on a piece of the glass. And what then she was murdered about? after. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. Does it? At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Yeah. It's kind of personal. Shoot. And... I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. No, I'm just trying to be good. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. I mean, I didn't want to rage at you about that. Uh, guys? We have a problem. A piece what is missing. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Uh, of course. What do you mean? He ain't dumb. Missing a piece. Yes, it's a. Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. It's okay. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. 
We can't depend on the mirror. Just forget it. I'll find him myself. How? We don't know where he went. I'm a fucking wolf. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Unnecessary. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Maybe I should try the sword and the stone. It's okay, mate. Don't stress. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. I mean, that's witch. good. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. You didn't smash it. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. Oh, good, man. Well, yeah, well, we got desk. Oh my. Oh, to a seven. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Pictures of you naked. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Mm, yep. Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. You could have known some creep was clamoring people. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? From Waylon Smith. Why do you leave these laid out? Boy Blue. Mm, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. Pinocchio. Mr. Crane, get your shit together, Mr. Toad. I've already been waiting for days, not to mention I already promised me to send someone to fix the big crack in the glass. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Eh. What's in here? Probably should ask Snow how she's doing. The office of... Let me ask Snow how she's doing first. Girl, you are right. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. Well, didn't we know this already? It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Keep looking. Didn't we know already that he was doing backdoor glamours? Black market glamours? Office of Business Affairs. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? Please do. Oh, yes! It's a ring, at least. 
Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? He only just heard no it. No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Fuck Blue off. Beard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me. I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. Well, maybe. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Superstition. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? P.M.? A.M. Yeah. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. You've clearly got yourself in mind, you fuck. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... Three hours. A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? What do you know about it that? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't Fuck just go off, off And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse. Crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Yeah. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you going to go, Bigby? Tough choice. 
find the witch. I don't really want him going to Holly. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Wait, do no. I have three choices? No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. No, you do. Holly's bar. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, I don't want him going to Holly, because that'll be bad. 